And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, in today's video we're going to be discussing some huge Luis Diaz news of course, whilst also going over the Ballon d'Or ceremony yesterday, as there was one Liverpool player that did feature in the 30 man shortlist, we're going to go over where he finished, um, and why he's still very very underrated to the rest of the world outside Liverpool, um, so as I said we'll discuss that was also going to uh, take a look ahead uh, at our game of course tomorrow as we take on Bournemouth in the EFL Cup round four well the EFL Cup fourth round um, as I said games are coming thick and fast we usually be usually playing a European game now uh, but straight into the EFL Cup fourth round and as I said a cup competition that I'd like to see us go on and win uh, Bournemouth um, are currently a mixed bag a fairly traffic like formation from them so far they did win of course at the weekend to Burnley but then again everyone seems to be beating Burnley recently um, of course beat uh, lost to Wolves did lose to Everton then lost to Arsenal and you have to take a look before the game at the weekend to Burnley their last win did come back in the EFL Cup third round uh, that being against Stoke City currently domestically in the league they do just sit one point above the relegation zone in 17th place but as I said in a cup game they're under the lights at their at, um, at their stadium uh, they'll be well up for it and a chance to maybe try and turn it around but for us it's another chance to just get yet another win on the board and keep this fantastic winning momentum running and going into and keeping us into four cup competitions as you know Manchester City are already out out of the cup competition so again it's a very very good chance for us to go out there and try and sweep up another bit of silverware I loved uh, the 2022 when we won the EFL Cup um, it was it was fantastic so yeah let's just keep trying to win as much uh, silverware as possible um, and our next challenge, of course, is coming uh, against Bournemouth tomorrow. Now, going into that, of course, um, there is, you know, the team news is pretty much relatively the same. We know Andy Robertson's out, um, but there is a bit more news with regards to Luis Diaz. A lot of you fans will, of course, be invested into the story. Luis Diaz's parents, of course, getting uh, kidnapped. His mother was rescued, but there has been an update now uh, with regards to his father. And apparently Colombia have stepped up its search for Luis Diaz's father, and they fear he's in Venezuela. Uh, Venezuela, sorry. Colombian police are searching the mountain range in the north of the country for the kidnapped father of uh, Liverpool forward Luis Diaz. Uh, as we stated, Diaz's mother has been rescued, but the Colombian authorities have stepped up the search for his father, with the player having returned home to be with the family members. Uh, police have been carrying out aerial patrols across the Perigena uh, mountain range, which straddles the border with Venezuela and is covered by forest. In a post on social media, police. Uh, Colombian Police uh, Director General Willem Salanca was shown visiting operation in order to recognize our commandos for their bravery and commitment to rescue uh, him safe and sound. Police have offered a reward worth around £39,000 for information leading to the rescue of Lies uh, Manuel Diaz. Um, on Monday, Salamanca urged caution with regards to reports that Luis Manuel might have been already been taken into Venezuela, pointing to the difficulty of crossing the Perugia Mountains. Uh, both FIFA and Colombia Football Federation of offered support to Diaz while well, Liverpool allowed the player to return home. Um Obviously, we've seen what uh, Jurgen Klopp has had to say with regards to the ongoing situation. Uh, and, and obviously, due to what's currently going on, he won't be available for the game in the EFL Cup. In fact, he probably won't be uh, available for a uh, prolonged period of time. But as I stated before, hopefully they, uh, the authorities and everyone can band together and make sure that Luis Diaz's father is found. And of course, then he can return back to us. But this is, of course, way more important uh, than football in, in, in general. Um, and as I said, they're still ongoing uh, with them now pushing their, f their search further up north into Colombia uh, with fears that he could have went over to the Venezuelan border. So, um, yeah, not uh, the best update so far, but hopefully, as I said, things can... Um Hopefully the, the efforts are even stepped up further and as I said, they can find uh, Luis Diaz's father and uh, of course um, they can be reunited as a family. Then we'll f talk about football uh, later on at a later date when uh, we can. Now going into other stuff guys, as I said, um, with regards to Diaz, we're going to be talking about the Ballon d'Or last night. Um, and of course, Mohamed Salah uh, was our only sort of representative in the sort of 30-man shortlist. Um, and guesses his official place to be very finished was 
11th. Um, and again, it kind of been overlooked. I know how the Ballon d'Or works. It's really, um, it's an interesting an award. Um, it basically used to be, I feel like, the best player in the world. And then it kind of just went to who, how many player, how much the player wins in terms of silverware, and then goals and like a collection of different things. And it's really like murky water as to how it was. And I'm Leo Messi's biggest fan. I really am. Obviously, Leo Messi winning his eighth one last night. And as I said, I'm Lionel Messi's uh, biggest fan. I've always been a Messi man. But really, if you're looking at him being the best player last year, uh, I don't think so. I think they're judging off a World Cup. For him winning the World Cup, four-week tournament, uh, seven games or something like that. I don't necessarily think that's the correct decision. And as I said, I am a big Leo Messi fan, so I'm delighted for him. But I do think Erling Haaland probably should have won it, having won a treble and, of course, scoring so many goals. Um, but as I said, he did win it. Um, but yeah, as I say, Salah was Liverpool's only representative, uh, representative in the sort of 30-man shortlist and did finish in 11th place. Um, I do think Mo Salah has been incredibly underrated over the last few years um, and still proving doubt is wrong. As I said, I think he has the most goals within the Premier League since the turn of the year in 2023. Um, so that just goes to show how great he's been despite us kind of underperforming at times um, and really the far highest his place he's ever finished is in fifth place um, and that was of course on two occasions he's never really gone to the top three Mo Salah so I do think he's criminally underrated Salah I do genuinely worldwide I do think us as Liverpool fans we of course give him the credit where credit's due but as I said in the whole sort of world sphere I think he is criminally criminally underrated um, our highest finisher since sort of Mike, obviously Michael Owen won it back in 2001. Our highest finisher has was Virgil van Dijk, who finished second in 2019, and then Sadio Mane, who finished second in 2022. Um, but as I said, we've not had a winner since Owen. And as I said, Mo Salah has been uh, criminally underrated for a long period of time and did finish 11th in yesterday's ceremony. Um, so yeah, interesting on that front. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all I've really got for you guys. As I said, a, a lot of games this week. Of course, Bournemouth during the week um, in the fourth round of the EFL Cup. I've already said how much I kind of want to win that competition. Uh, and then, of course, it's um, Luton Town. Uh, we've got Luton Town on Sunday, a new ground to go to. I don't think Jürgen Klopp's ever been there. I kind of remember playing Luton years and years ago in the FA Cup. I think Stevie scored a goal um, ages ago. Maybe 2006. Again, that was just off the top of my head. I just remember watching it on BBC when I was younger, uh, a long time ago. But yeah, I'm sure we played them once. I'll have a little look at head to head when the last time actually was played. Uh, yeah, as I said, previous matches, they've got nothing actually on there. So it was a long, long time ago. I'm sure it was in the FA Cup. But um, yeah, another test. But again, another game that we should be getting three points in as well. So hopefully by the end of this week, we've got three points on the board. And of course, a progress into the EFL Cup fifth round. Uh, but Liverpool fans, that's all I've got for you guys. Do let me know your thoughts with regards to the Luis Diaz situation. And do you think Mohamed Salah is criminally underrated worldwide? As I said, let me know down there in the comments section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.